So in this video, let us talk about some of the functions of a dropout fuse. Now dropout fuses are devices used to protect the system and its equipment from overloading and surges. You will see these sprinkled all over the distribution system. Now, the most common place is actually, you can see it right above the pole mount transformers in order to protect the transformer from surges from the primary line. Other things that you will see the use of drop of fuse to protect are other on pole equipment, as well as right above the dips and risers, right at the point where the overhead line transitions to the underground line or vice versa. Now the dropout fuse is also known as the fuse cutout or the cutout fuse. And it usually has three main parts, namely the fuse link, the fuse holder, and the cutout body. Now the fuse link is the portion that will melt when surge exceeds its rated current value, thus breaking the circuit. This component can be replaced easily, and this is usually made out of tin or silver alloy. Now the fuse holder, or we also call it cutouts, is what encapsulates the fuse link. The cutouts are installed at 20 degrees from the vertical so that when the fuses blow, the cutout would drop due to the force of gravity. Hence the term drop out fuse because it will drop out. Now in the bottom of the fuse holder, there will also be a ring and the purpose of the ring is so that the linemen can drop the fuse themselves to create a point of isolation when working on the protected equipment by grabbing the ring and pulling it using their hot sticks. Now lastly, as for the cutout body, it is actually a C-shaped body that is either mounted on the pole or cross arm with a bracket to hold the fuse holder. Now, as you can see in the uh, image in front of you, the vertical segment of that C-shaped cuddle body is an insulator. And the function of that insulator is to have the dropout fuse or the fuse holder to be the only pathway that conducts downwards so that when it drops out, the pathway would actually uh, 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 doesn't exist anymore. So that is the sole reason why there is an insulator right there. If you're interested in learning the more general knowledge and build a comprehensive uh, uh, knowledge base on the distribution power system, I recommend you to sign up to my Udemy course called Distribution Power Engineering Fundamentals. Now, this is a comprehensive video course where you can learn industry-specific knowledge about the distribution power system that you could not have known unless you worked within the utility industry for a number of years. I have handcrafted this course to allow my students to acquire core fundamental knowledge on how the distribution system works, as well as how to do simple distribution designs. So if you're interested uh, in learning more about distribution system, please click on the link in the video description.